Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got this uh, code AB and this uh, perpendicular C fully confined in this uh, semicircle with the center O, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that uh, they intersect each other at this point uh, D. And as a result, this segment uh, AD is uh, two units, whereas uh, this segment uh, db is uh, 3 and moreover this segment uh, cd is equal to this segment uh, de and furthermore uh, this uh, af uh, is the diameter of this uh, semicircle and now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, semicircle please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe and please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. We know that uh, this segment uh, CD equals to DE. Let me label uh, this segment uh, CD as X uh, units. Then this uh, DE is going to be X units uh, as well. So therefore, uh, this whole perpendicular CE is going to be x plus x is going to make uh, 2 times uh, x and now we are going to think uh, outside the box and we are going to consider the whole uh, circle and in this uh, next step I have extended uh, this perpendicular CE all the way to this point uh, F such that uh, this uh, segment uh, CE is going to be equal to EF by symmetry. If this uh, perpendicular CE is uh, 2x, then this uh, EF segment is going to be 2x uh, as well. And now let's recall the intersecting uh, chords uh, theorem. If two chords intersect in a circle, uh, then the product uh, of the measures of the segments of the chord uh, are equal. As you can see in this uh, diagram, we got these two chords, uh, A, C, and B, D. They intersect uh, each other such that uh, this uh, segment uh, A times uh, this segment uh, B is going to be equal to this segment uh, C times this segment uh, D, as you can see in this uh, equation. And now let's revert our attention back to our this given problem. We got these uh, two chords uh, A, B and uh, C, F and they intersect uh, each other at this point uh, D. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this whole uh, segment uh, D, F is going to be X uh, plus 2X uh, is going to make uh, 3 times uh, X. So therefore, according to this uh, given theorem, uh, this uh, segment uh, X uh, times this uh, 3x is going to be equal to 2 times 3. So let me go ahead and write down x times 3x is going to become 2 times 3. Let's simplify. So this is going to give us 3x square equal to 6. Let's divide both sides by 3. So therefore we are going to have x square equals to 2. Let me undo this uh, square by taking a square root uh, on both uh, sides. So therefore our x value turns out to be square root of uh, 2 units. So thus our x value turns out to be square root of 2. So that means uh, this CD length is going to be square root of uh, 2. Likewise DE length uh, is uh, square root of 2 and finally this uh, EF length is going to be 2x means that's going to become 2 times the square root of uh, 2 and now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, AED and we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle and here's our Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square and now we are going to find out uh, this length uh, a e and our hypotenuse is uh, 2. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean formula a e whole square plus uh, square root of uh, 2 whole 
square equals to 2 square. Let's simplify. So we are going to have a e whole square plus this is going to be 2 equals to 4. Let's subtract 2 from both sides. This is gone. So therefore our e square value turns out to be equal to 2. Let me undo this square by taking a square root uh, on both uh, sides. So therefore our a e length turns out to be square root of uh, 2. So therefore our this uh, a e length uh, is uh, square root of 2. And here's our next step. Let's uh, label uh, this uh, segment uh, a o as uh, our radius uh, r. Then our this uh, remaining segment uh, e o is going to be r minus square root of 2. So this is going to be r minus square root of 2. And now in this uh, next step I have uh, connected this center O with this uh, point F and as a result we got uh, this uh, right triangle uh, OEF. And now let's focus uh, on this uh, right triangle uh, OEF. And now we can see that this OF uh, is the radius uh, of this uh, circle. So I'm going to label this one as uh, lowercase r. And now we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle. And here's our Pythagorean theorem once again a square plus b square equal to c square. And here our hypotenuse is uh, r. And other two sides are r minus square root of 2 and 2 times square root of uh, 2. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks uh, in this uh, Pythagorean formula. So we are going to have uh, r minus uh, square root of 2 whole uh, square plus uh, 2 times uh, square root of 2 whole uh, square equal to r uh, square. And now let's recall this famous uh, identity a minus b whole square could be written as uh, a square minus 2ab plus b square. We are going to apply it on this uh, left hand side binomial. So therefore this is going to become uh, r square minus uh, 2 times square root of 2 times r plus uh, 2. And then the square of this one is going to give us uh, plus 8 equals to r square. And now we can see r square and r square is uh, gone. So let's combine the like terms uh, on the left hand side. So we are going to get uh, 10 minus uh, 2 times square root of 2 r equal to 0. And now let's move uh, this term on the other side. So therefore we are going to have 2 times uh, square root of 2 times r equals to 10. Let's divide both sides by 2 times square root of 2. So this is gone. So therefore our radius r turns out to be 5 divided by square root of 2. So thus our this uh, radius r turns out to be 5 divided by square root of uh, 2 units. And here's our final step. Let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, semicircle. And now let's recall the area of a circle formula area equals to pi r square where r is the radius. So therefore uh, the semicircle area is going to be this area divided by 2. So I can write uh, pi r square divided by 2. So therefore uh, the semicircle area is going to be pi divided by 2 times uh, our radius is uh, 5 divided by square root of 2 whole uh, square. And now we can see 5 divided by square root of 2 whole square is going to give us uh, 25 uh, divided by 2. So therefore we are going to have a pi divided by 2 times uh, 25 uh, divided by 2. And if we multiply everything that is going to give us uh, 25 uh, pi divided by and that is going to be equal to 6.25 times pi square units. So therefore our semicircle area turns out to be 6.25 times pi square units. 
and that is going to be approximately equal to 19.635 square units thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye